and entertainment is entertainment. Do not for one second try to compare yourself to an entertainer that gets high all the time and they're like that's the difference. They're they're on their level 100. You're still on your level 20. So how in the can you say I'm going to get to their level 100 just how they present it to get to their level 100 if you get high all the time like you but you don't even have these plugs and these sources stop doing drugs especially pills because they be fake but if you do do them this is a this because it is real or fake if it glows when you put a light on it when you put it under a light, it's real. If it don't glow, it's not a real pill. So put it on a light. And if you glow through, like you see the branding through the pill, it's a real pill. If you don't see the branding, if it's thick and it's not see-through, it's not a real pill. Welcome back to Conversations with me. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. And as you've seen in the beginning of the video, you've seen Young Thug talking about taking pills and how to identify counterfeit pills well to start this off i i would say thank you young thug for first saying you know don't do drugs even though we know that type of stuff go in one ear and out the other because um your celebrity means so much more when it looks like you made it doing drugs and living a free life so that means nothing to say it but also want to thank you for um, giving the counterfeiters like a head up. You know what I mean? Like, hey, this is this is the flaw. <laughs> like, this is the flaws in, in, in what you're doing. And now they know that they have to make a more transparent pill now. So thanks. Say thank you to Young Thug. But what I want you to also do is um, understand that he is an entertainer, period, point blank. As much as you love his music, as much as you love his hair, fashion, ooh, he hold the blunt just right. He is all entertainment. Everything you see is entertainment, even what you're watching. You get what I'm saying? And you you kind of got to pay attention to Young Thug and what he uh, what's really not promoted about him. Um, young Thug. Thug is very big on family, and he always talk about, oh, I do this for my kids, I do that for my kids, I do this. Oh, big, big things, you know what I mean? And I want you to understand that being young, man, woman, girl, boy, he is living for his family. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. He understands that he has to make it home. So while you're living your life on a fast track, thinking that everybody living like this. No, we are not. People are thinking about the future, planning out the future. I remember I was watching a um, video with AO. Well, AO and Brim D, they was on doing a live for the Big Facts podcast. And my son just so happened to look over at my phone and he said, mom, look at the gangsters. <laughs> They look like gangsters, mom. And before you try to be a smart ass and know why he know the word gangster, it's because he reads books and he reads these books, a series of books called Dog Man. And that's one of the words. Dog Man is a cop, FYI. Da, da, da. But I told him and I couldn't stress to him enough. I said, no, baby, that's just entertainment, you know? And it brought me back to some conversation when I was in the sixth or seventh grade. I remember this dude coming in talking to us about like rap music and all this stuff. And I was just sitting there looking at him, knowing who I know in my real life. You know what I mean? When you know people who really in the streets, you understand it from a very young age, especially having to understand it from a very young age. Like this shit is not for play play. And so understanding it, and I'm looking at this guy tell me, I'm looking like, yo, I don't, this shit is entertainment. I don't give a fuck what the juveniles and all them doing. I don't, I love the music. It's cool. You can 
dance and have fun and smile and it's at the barbecue, but this ain't my life. And I think a lot of us, not a lot of us, I think a lot of people mix the two. And you can't mix the two. You just can't. Life is life. And entertainment is entertainment. Do not for one second try to compare yourself to an entertainer that gets high all the time. And they're like, that's the difference. They're, they're on their level 100. You're still on your level 20. So how in the fuck can you say, I'm going to get to their level 100 just how they present it to get to their level 100 if you get high all the time like you but you don't even have these plugs and these sources and as i told you in these daily affirmations man this shit ain't gonna come knock on your door you have to be ready focused and doing other things outside of just getting high and making the content just because you put it up on Instagram and everything, motherfuckers ain't about to tap in and be like, oh, you see that shit? Man, it's a million motherfuckers doing what you doing. So why should I check you out? But yeah, the other thing with these counterfeit pills is that they put fentanyl in these pills. You know what I mean? And with them putting <laughs> fentanyl in these pills, people ODing quickly. So as you seen the Young Thug video, I know you're saying to yourself like, nah, that ain't going to happen to me or da 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 Like, hey, man, you don't know, man. You just, mess, you just might mess around and get that bad batch. And you, you take that pill, go to sleep, and don't wake up again. That's the messed up part, you know what I mean? All your, especially all the young kids, man, y'all's favorite entertainers is dying out quickly. Now, I know what I was... To be honest, my generation, because I grew up in the 90s, so I'm not going to sit up here and act like I was just a 90s, 90s child. But, uh, like, my music, my era of music is 2010. Uh, I mean, 2000 to 2010, where I was like, damn, this is the shit, this is the shit. Wasn't nobody really getting smoked out like that. Which I think is the best era of music. I know I'm looking dumbfounded right now, but do you want a long career or do you want to become an RIP shirt? Shout out on Instagram and like they some balloons and shit. Like, like, what do you want? If you, if you truly want something, man, you got to put that shit down. And that's why the three S's over here is really highly stressed. I am not, um, a user of any substance. But the but it's stressed over here because, hey man, AO made something out of nothing. He is a young man that had that openly admits because a lot of people don't like to do that. He openly admits that he had an issue, and not only does he openly admits that he has an issue, but he also tell you that he put that issue down, sobered the fuck up. Cut itself off from the world, which is solitude, the three S's. I'm, t- I'm explaining the three S's right now. Sobered up, cut itself off to become, to understand who he is as far as solitude. And then he stopped having sex. And he made something out of nothing. You can act like, and, and this is the thing, like, because they messing with his numbers. And, you know, as I'm trying to build my numbers, this is crazy, but... Man, AO should have been at 100,000 subscribers on the Big Facts podcast. But when somebody got a real message, it just don't get through so quickly. But you must understand that 99,000 subscribers, 99,000, yeah, 99,000 subscribers on YouTube is not easy. So he truly made something out of nothing. Conversations with me.